Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's time for the final match for week two before we move on to week three. The last hurrah for the uh, normal auto scroll stages. Um, assuming that uh, Danny doesn't decide to add them to the finals, that's up for him. But whatever. Um, my name is Dustin, and welcome back to season three of the SMB3R League. Um, um, uh, we do have a bit of a situation, though. Um, one of our runners has fallen ill and will not be able to participate today. So everyone, uh, everyone get your well wishes out for Johnny Link. For, for today, though, is this going to be Teeks88 and Stewie Cartman? Cartman. Um, and, uh, we're, we're letting Johnny know that, uh, he'll be able to play the seeds, uh, these seeds provisionally, so we're not going to get any final scores today. Well, with that out of the way, um, suppose we can move on and uh, move on and uh, get uh, get these racers running. All right. I will set them off. Okay. In terms of score, in terms of score, um, again, these will not, again, these will not, uh, uh, these will not, uh, words are hard. Uh, these will not, um, mean anything in the long run, because considering that uh, we still have to wait for Johnny to for to do his runs. They're not the final results. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Um, but anyway, uh, their current point totals are Stewie Carmen's at 15. Both Teeks and Johnny are at 9. And the current, the, the, the runner currently leading the pack in Kingslayer is Danny P. Speed at 30 points. So we'll see if these two runners can uh, close the gap, so you say. And we're beginning right now. What will these what will these runners choose? Alright. Giant land for Teeks, Pipe Land for Stewie. But we'll see uh, how well this pans out. Uh oh. Hmm. Well there's a there's a fort right there on the promised land. Whether it's gonna be the answer or not, I have no idea. And that's a music box for Teeks. And the fort right there, so this could just be it right there. And, and we got Air Force. Air Force with this auto scroll on. Um, I'm one of the people that feels that this stage is easier with the auto scroll on than off, because because when it, when it's off, um, you're on a rush, and that makes falling off really easy to do. Here, you can at least take your time and make sure your jumps count. Oh, Stewie's turning away from the fort. Or, it was just looking for a way around, I guess. Was there a pipe there? Oh, there was. Okay. That's what I thought, yeah. You may as well play the fort now. Here we go. Alright, 3F2 will be our first fort on Stewie's end. As Teeks wraps up Air Force. Is this the answer? It is! Wow! Okay, so, um... We'll just, uh... Yeah, it's the World 1 Airship 2. So all that's left is... Okay. And just the one hair for T one hair for Iggy, so that's a uh, one world completed for Teeks. And oh, three F two was not the answer. Stewie has a uh, has to hunt for that other pipe, that other fort, I should say. 
Ew. Mm. I was about to take time to mention what the what the flag set entails. You already saw that that um outside of the airships, um auto scores are back in full force. Among other things is um clipping has been disabled. The Bowser Hallway is vanilla. Hammers break locks. And uh And that's about it. Other than the fact that this is open world, which is the whole entire gimmick of this season. And they're- wow, they're posing out of scrolls. <laughs> yeah, we've got a long wait. Because unfortunately, they're both directly in the way. They have no way around it. Did you know that, um, the one that Teeth was in is actually longer than 5-9? By just a smidge, but still longer. And, and we, another auto score, at least the fort. So yeah, we got the battleship next. And, uh, okay, now we, ha we have a plant on uh, Stewie's end, and he's doing the paw strats. Um, for those who don't know, um, those particular munchers um, that pop out of the pipes, those are unaffected by pausing. They continue to act even in the frozen time. So with that, you can uh, cheese them and, like... Like, jump over them, pause, you're about to land on them, wait for them to, to recede back into the pipe, then unpause, and you're safe and sound. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, while we wait for Teeks' feed to uh, return, we'll switch well, back to Stewie. And uh, Stewie is still trying to hunt for the pipe that's on the other side of that lock, but I don't think he's going to get it. Never mind, he got it. His faith was rewarded. And what's what's their prize here? A cloud for Stewie and a hammer for Teeks. Okay. Um. If Teeks can hang out of a hammer for pipes, uh, that's gonna be huge for him. And oh. And, uh, that's going to be a 6F3 for Teeks, and that is the first, that is Ludwig down, Stewie clears his first world. Oh yeah, the reason why we, we're sticking with this uh, layout is because we don't, we do not have a two-player layout with, uh, with the tracking. And more auto-scrolling. This time, regular tanks. I mean, there is an item at the end of this, but uh, this level is going to be a while. And now it's Stewie's turn to uh, dip into uh, to Giant Land. Uh, 
And this looks like a single forter, so uh, so yeah, that would be the answer. All right, so yeah, he clears this. He's done. More, more double auto scorer action here. Let's see who uh, makes it to the end first. I think it's going to be the Air Force. Because regular tanks is long. Like, we're talking like three or four song loops. That's what I use to measure the length of auto scroll stages. How many times the song loops. But anyway, Air Force is done. Uh, it will be there. It is, it is done now. And he'll and he'll be on his way to fight Iggy and wrap up his second world. And at the end of regular tanks is a leaf. And is he going? To, oh, he is going to hammer that lock. Hmm. He might regret that, but I can understand why he did. And, uh, we... I couldn't tell how many hits uh, that Roy had. But he is, uh, done with Skyland. Alright, so now we have some choices to make. Alright, Stewie's going to desert next. And he decided no. What else is here? Okay, the peach item for Sky is a hammer. That's... That's pretty significant. And, uh... And, oh, no! Oh, dear. Okay, we'll swap over to Teeks's audio for the moment. Alright, so got the Muncher run next, and uh... He got the one... Oh, no! Oh! That's the anti-clipping! So, um... So what the clipping disable flag does, it... To... They're, the way that they do it is, um... It reverses the direction in which you go when you clip. So you're go you go to the left instead of the right. And uh Also by the way, um for the tournament for the tournament we had, um the that rock was breakable. For this league it is not. Or at least for this flag set it's not. Which is why uh, Teeks hammered the lock instead of uh, instead of trying to hammer the rock. But anyway, uh, yeah, Stewie doing that swag go down the pipe thing, and Teeks is already finished with uh, the grassland. And the fourth that Teeks got to skip was, a uh, 2F. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh... Um, one of our runners is was unable to compete today because of unforeseen circumstances such as, uh, illness. So, the decision was made that these two would play right now, Johnny would play later. So we're not going to have final scores for these runners today.
G-Sky Claw from that letter. And, uh, and we're going to desert this time. And Teeks is going to play it. <laughs> oh! Stew Stewie Swan dives into the pit. Alright, what's our prize for this hand trap stage? A big ball and nothing! Alright, so, um, from my understanding of, um, open mode, the uh, the open mode of n today, um, if you have two items, two of the same item in your inventory, um, that item, the item is going to be replaced by, um, empty chest. Unless, the only way you can have three of an item is if the, I the prize... The third prize is, uh, from the Peach Letter. Chad is free to correct me on this, but I think that is the score. Alright, Stewie got the one cycle for seven. Seven. And, uh, he's just gonna keep on trucking. For this week, the goal is to clear all seven worlds, and then beat Bowser, enter the door with Peach, you're done. Um, things don't get- things don't go quite off the rails until, uh, next week, where there's a scavenger hunt involved. And more auto scrolling. One four, also longer than five nine. For the sake of sanity, uh, the regular uh, airships are still do not have their auto scrolls. Because God only knows that nobody wants to uh, sit in the World 4 airship for 11 billion eons. Anyway, uh, that's the th that's the third world done for Stewie. Correct. Outside the airships, every other stage of vanilla that has auto scroll has auto scroll. So he gets his cloud from that, and uh, we'll see what he does next. He's going to sky. And more auto scrolling. <laughs> I forgot how many, uh, auto-scrolls there were. It's kind of remarkable, honestly. And unfortunately, not much else to say until Teeks' speed returns. Okay, hello, 4-3. So where did he end up after all after all that? Oh, he's just right there. Um so he so um he fought a bro, so I don't I don't know what the item was for him. And I saw he skipped the ship. Um With this flag set with open mode, um normally the normally the music box can't uh oh. I I'm getting some static on mine, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, uh, what was I trying to say? Oh god, oh. Alright, I think it's better now. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, hang on. What I was trying to say is, 
in the normal game, uh, the ship cannot be put to sleep by... by music box. In this mode, you can. You can put the... Oh god. Um... I'm sorry, folks. I, uh, I do not have the expertise for this. I don't think this is, uh... Do we? I'll, I'll swap the teaks and see if that's the problem. Uh, if it'll go over there, okay. Alright, um... That was the backle. Um... Alright, Stewie's in the Navy, we're, um, fighting that. That fort's done. The boy's gonna learn that it's not the answer, so he has to, uh, since he uses Tamers already, he's gonna have to do all the search for the answer that is down there. He has a lot, he has some levels to play to get there. And Stewie... Oh, Stewie! Oh, no. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. He was, um... I think Stu was having some fun. But the game decided, no, you don't get to have fun. He ducked under one of the turrets, and because clipping, because disabled clipping was on, like I mentioned, it pushes you to the left instead of the right, and uh, it took him to the abyss and crushed him. And Stewie is going to cloud and hammer. Okay. Meanwhile, Teeks is uh, still searching for that pipe that has the, um... He's a little lost, because he just emerged from that pipe. And, he's th and he has another auto scroll to go through. Hurrah! Also, hello, blue block. Um... That's what happens when, uh... If you... Bounce a thing... Uh... Next to, like, an object. And... Oh! I hope Teeks has a second cloud, because, um... He's gonna have to play that a He's gonna have to play that on the return back. Unless he decides to game over, which, uh, he's at 7 lives, so I doubt he's gonna do that. Waterland! This is our first foray there. And, uh, Stewie is not gonna go for the item. All oh, right, Tix is still hunting for the pipe, and uh, he is gonna—he's gonna find it eventually if he continues this search. Cause um, the pipe to the left, right? That's the one. There we go. Oh, oh! I guess P. Oh, that's right. The Peach Letter had a hammer for Skyland. So yeah, wow. He's already done with water. They are neck and neck in terms of uh, world clearage. Unless it's a third hammer somewhere, I... Because Teeks used the two hammers already, I don't think he's gonna have one for this lock that Stewie just broke. And I 
Okay, I think Teak's got the off-screen wand grab here. Why are the airships not auto scroll? Because um, nobody wants to nobody wants to watch the World Four airship for that long. All right, so Bowser does give you an item in the randomizer, but you have to look at your inventory to see what it is. I don't know if you can speed we could speed them up per se. I I mean that's a question for a ROM hacker. And TF Teeks does not have a hammer, so he will n Oh, that's... that's real bad for Teeks, because he has a long walk. take some time to get some more items and that's a nothing right. 610 for Teeks 82 for Stewie and, uh, mm -hmm. yep and getting the peace speed strats there we go and yep he got it your marker is, um, uh, to the left of the rightmost, um, bush in the back, pale in the background. The bros and where's Teeks is right now, those could also have a hammer. And the oh, and there's 7-4! Probably the worst auto-scroll stage to get out of this roster. Like, probably, I mean, still probably better than Atlantis, but, um, or at least it's less dangerous than Atlantis. I don't know if it's longer than Atlantis. Okay, that bro also had nothing. What about this one? Tanuki suit. Okay, um, so things to talk about. Uh, so Tanuki suit is, um, is, is busted in this game mode because it has a bonus feature where you can move around as a statue. You can even get P-Speed from it somehow. Like, uh, but, uh, I mean, while your density is increased a lot, um, you can, you, you effectively have iframe mode. Tanuki Suit is really, really good in this flag set. This game mode. And, uh... Oh, I was so mixed- I was so mixed up in, in everything, I've- I shouldn't mention uh, what exactly is the the purpose of uh, the coin count and the power ups. Um, so um, your your coin max is 50, but uh, you use that use those coins to buy your items. They sit there; they are there forever in your inventory. They don't disappear outside of clouds and hammers, but they are they are. Um, there is a price attached to the non-disappearing items. For example, um, to put on that Tanuki suit we found, as it'll cost 10 coins. And 
and Teeks only has one world left to go. Ah, uh, yes, um, there's also the Anchor, which, um, like Rando, it's going to be, it will be a random item that isn't a hammer, or a whistle. When it comes to buying for that, whatever item it lands on is going to be that cost minus five. So, if the Anchor is a Tanuki suit, it'll be five coins to put on instead of ten. But, uh, if the anchor is a cloud, um, that one, that costs the full 50 coins. Hammers and clouds by themselves are free, but they are single use. And Teeks gets hot footed in midair. Well, Stewie also only has one world left to go. But he unfortunately also has a long walk to the end. And we know that there's nothing in these, uh, hand trap stages. Two again, but uh, Teeks is uh, not powered up at all, so he's gonna have to take his time to get around these plants, and he does. Okay. And wow, he made the full distance there. That jump is really risky because you have just enough leeway to get up there, but uh, it's but yeah, it's quite risky. That's why I don't do it. Now Teeks has his Tanuki suit. And uh the Teeks have a cloth for this. Yes. Oh, he has another cloud. Yeah, go in the pipe. Save that cloud. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I should mention that the cloud that the toad houses are disabled. That you can't go in them. Not that it would matter for Teeks's purposes, because um, how toad houses don't save your map location like pipes do. And oh my, okay, wow. That was, um, Harry. And we have a, uh, we have a one up here. And Stewie so decided, nah. Or, right, or you can just put it on. Put on the suit and get the item? Yes. It's nothing! And Stewie showing off the movement of the Tuki suit. But Antiques is at the end of the uh, his final world before World 8.
and they're all avoiding the ship. Which is fair, because, um... The... The ship auto-scroll is also on there. And it moves about as slow as the World 4 airship in Vanilla, so... I mean, there is a way to, um... You can... You, there is a way to get yourself squished by the screen boundaries, but, um... You still have a have to wait a bit before you can get the opportunity to do so. Which is why music bot... Which is... Reason why it's so good that uh, the music box can put the ship to sleep now. But the but another feature is um in open world mode, even if a ship or a bro is asleep, you can still select it to enter the fight anyway. And oh wow, that's a lucky uh, cloud. And we got two forts right there, unless that's a false tank. Hello, Fort Knox. Now, um, yeah, okay, so, it actually is kind of, kind of a good idea to, um, actually, um, fall down there intentionally so you can refill your coins before proceeding to clear Fort Knox. That wasn't... That wasn't Teeks making, making a mistake. That was him topping off his coin count. Have we seen a hammer suit? No, I don't believe so. That is 15 po coins to put on. Same as the flower. I'll have to look at their inventory again. One bridge. Finally. Alright. One fort down for Stewie. And uh, he's turning away from that, that tank. I don't think he checked it. Hmm. Okay. We have, a, we have some choices now. There's a tank icon and a boat icon. If you're able to enter that boat icon, we will determine if that tank is real or not. Um, so, this is a trick that, that uh, Stewie, uh, that, the trick that Stewie discovered, um, if you enter the, if you enter, um, a forced, forced encounter icon, like the boat, or the air force icon, or another tank, I guess, um, if the tank icon stays as the screen screen fades out, that means it's the real one. If it disappears, it's the false one. Yeah, this is all going to come down to uh, who has the correct idea. That was quick, uh, tricks there. And no, that was the... F that is the false tank that Teeks entered. So the tank that's on the, um... Yeah, we see we saw it disappear on Stewie's end. That means it's the false one. So Stu Teeks will have to return to the beginning of the area. Because that tank on the starting screen is the real one. And we have 6F2. Teeks putting on the suit, skipping that, making that earlier portion uh, simpler.
quicker, better. Did this hit lead? Okay. Alright, this will decide it right here. It, it's either Teeks' game or Stewie's game. Because Stewie found the Air Force icon, which is sub and F2. If this is the answer, Stewie's got this. Unless he decides to go for the other fort. Oh, but no! Teeks is at Bowser. And, uh, yeah, it looks like I was wrong. It wasn't paying attention because I'm adult. They both do both have the hammer suit. It was from a peach letter. Yeah, with clipping disabled, they do have to go, do go to do this roundabout uh, way to the top. You can't know every man's clip here. And uh, because um. Because uh, Bowser's uh, corridor is vanilla, Teeks has no fear in doing the um, the speedrun strats for that room. And like that, hammers to the face, and it's done. Goodbye, Bowser. Peter G's out for Teeks88. He's going to take game one. At a 39.28. Why is clipping disabled? Um, it's um, you'll have to ask Danny for for that. Personally, I, I, I'm I'm cool with uh no clipping because I, I hate clipping just on principle. Many a speed where clip just refused to cooperate with me. But it is just for this week only. And this is the last match of the week, so... I'll, I'll have to look at the uh, other... other flags for the other two weeks, but uh... But I think this is the only week where our clipping is disabled. Yes, it's just for this week. Clipping will be re, re enabled uh, next week. All right, Stewie's at Bowser now, and it looks like the looks like the static crackly issue is gone. I don't know what that was all about. I'm apologized to the viewers. But oh, Stewie lost his hammer suit. But that's okay. He has enough money to put it on again. Should he uh, take a dive? But he might just find a hammer. Might find a flower suit down. Flower suit, but just a fire flower in this block over here. And this section is vanilla as well. But oh nope, it's back. Oh oh dear. Oh no. Ah. Okay, so Bowser, um. And yeah, the. The hitboxes are fixed, so, um. Which means he does have to fight. do this fight pro the legitimate way. The, um. The intended by developers way. But, uh. Yeah. In the vanilla game, uh, Bowser's lower two tiles don't have a hitbox, so you can just hide under him and not... and have no fear of taking damage from him ever. But, uh, we, um, remedied that with this flag set. Alright, Stewie's done. And, uh... 
and I'll, I'll just mark... I'll just mark Johnny as disconnected, I guess. Alright. I'm gonna get our racers set up for the second game. And, uh, like I... And, uh, as mentioned, uh... This... We're not gonna tally any scores today because of, um... Unforeseen circumstances. But we shall, we shall have final scores sometime later. Probably tomorrow, if not later than that. Alright, be right back. Alright, we're back. And, uh... We've got another seed for you. Game 2 is up and running. Our racer is going to be set off very shortly. Teats took the first game. And, uh... We don't, like I said, we don't have our final, we're not going to have our final scores, but Teese will get six points at minimum from this. Now, the black set's going to be the exact same as it was in the previous game, so um, they're still going to have to clear all all seven worlds before world eight. You notice the seventy below the three. Um, those numbers actually do mean something, and we're gonna see that. We're gonna we're gonna actually see, it's gonna see that change in week three. Um, the seven means how many worlds you need to clear before you can access Bowser. Access world eight, I should say. The zero is for something else entirely. Again, more on that later. Alright, so... Teeks is going to World 4 again. To start us off. And Stewie's going to 7 again, to start us off. Okay, so we got two world, two forts in Giant. Oh dear. Ooh. A hammer suit right out the gate. Wow! What a prize! Yeah. Hopefully Stewie finds that, bro. Yeah, that's a... that's huge, because in this mode, uh, it's not gonna go away. I mean, it, it does cost 15 coins to put it on, but... I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> you have an answer for Bowser. Just right out the gate. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, anyway, uh, Fort's, uh... 3F1 for Stewie. And see if there's a star in here. There isn't. And, uh... Unfortunately, the the, far, the Fort that Teeks played was not the answer. So he's gonna have to go around and play that other one. He does find 3-7, though. And there is an item here. And, uh, it's probably in his best interest to go get it, which he is. Now, um, in normal settings, uh, this section, this coin heaven is always auto-scroll. Regardless of the settings. Uh, and nothing, wow. That's me. 7-5, that's mean. But at least he has a tail, so he can, uh, get P-Speed to fly over the Kaizo Bridge. The ah! But too overzealous with, uh, trying to squeeze him between him and the wall in the thwomp. With a tail, you can, uh, clear that. And don't forget to jump before going down. Yeah, you got it. There we go. Now all you need to do is... Yep. You actually can make that without P-Speed. But you... I think you need to be duck jumping. Just so you have enough distance to clear... 
have enough room to clear that overhang. But in any case, Teeks is now, uh... in the first airship of the seed. And that's it for Iggy. And our pride. All right, here we go. That's our anchor. We won't know what it is until he uh, tries to use it. Um, he can't use it right now. I probably can use it because there is a five. Uh, there is a five cost item, mushroom and star. And uh, with anchor, it's free if it lands on mushroom or star. There's a Fort Knox. T's probably gonna get some money again, or... Oh no, guess not. Oh, I mean, I guess there's money in this corridor as well, so... I guess no reason to, uh, do what he did earlier. But anyway, uh, Pipeline is done for Stewie. Now Stewie's turn to delve into Giant Land. And that's an auto scroll, and Teeks is just gonna go around that. Or is he gonna cloud it? Yeah. It's so weird to cloud... Cloud 1-4 of all stages, but it is longer. But, aww... That is unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, because, um... He was hoping that, uh, that pipe was not Paradox. And, yeah, he had to take the depth there, because... If that... I mean, sure, that, um, that would have taken him straight to the end, but, uh, he had no way of knowing if, uh, where the location of the tower was up there. It's not a chance worth taking, especially if it ends up in, like, the butt end of the other end of the world, and you had to play, like, three stages to get to the end. It's just not worth the risk. Anyway, I know if the Stewie got that hammer suit as well, so he is set for Bowser as also. But anyway, now that Teeks knows that Paradox Pipe is godly, he's just gonna f fight this bro and, uh... Boom. And unfortunately, that bro moved out of the way, so we'll never know what that item is unless, uh, Stewie fights it. Music box is also free, and, uh... I think that's also single-use? Was Roy just a two header, whatever? All right, so they both uh, cleared their second fort at roughly the same second world at roughly the same time. Hard to tell who's in the lead right now, considering the the different paths they've taken.
All right, so T's got a cloud from uh, that world. Oh. Hmm. All right, so another uh, single forter uh, grassland. The fort at close to the other side of the globe. Got some levels to play to get there. There we go. It's five seven. This is fine. Ooh, that was a nice hammer snipe. Okay, so music box stays according to chat. Alright. Alright, Tiggs is the master speedrunner of this game, so he knows when and where to fling those hammers. And what trajectory they need to take. Bam! Done with that segment before the music did, did it first did its first loop. And he's going to uh, snipe, or or just do that. That's that works too. Hammer still shreds. Boom boom. By the way. And we got four two next with the sun. Four two is the only stage where you can have sun and bo boss bass together. Four two can also have two boss bass. Alright, 6-5 is next. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to this, uh, this hammer suit, unless T says to go over the icebreaker clip, which he's not. So, uh, airship for Stewie. And I imagine that Teex is not far behind, just got to fight a bro before he gets on his airship. And a mushroom. In any other flag set, a mushroom would be a raspberry sort of prize, but in this one, it is perfectly serviceable. Alright, so T's got to play Larry. He's down again already. Wow. Alright, I'll swap the... I'll swap to Stewie's audio, because we did confirm that it was actually coming from his feed, the static noises. We'll see if that's been fixed. Uh, it has not, okay. Also, is that a hammer from Peach? Give the thing a moment to swap back to Tease's audio. As we go through, uh... There we go. Mm, that port doesn't look 
particularly great, and, uh... Alright. There we go. Empty chest for Stewie. But what about this other bro? Surely, this one must have something good. Suruki suit. That is good. 5-3. That's not so good. And, uh, that was a half-sun that disappeared. Um, sometimes the half-sun sticks around and actually activates. And it's really weird. It only happens in 5-3, where the sun... Um, it starts from a completely different area, and it actually wraps around the screen, horizontally. Alright, uh, can, oh, can he get the H jump? He got it! One three for Stewie Cartman. Uh, uh, depending on the enemy set, uh, okay, he's going for it. The enemy was set was tolerable enough. Well, he had a star. Granted, if he didn't have a star, he would have probably would have just moved on. But, uh, what is this? Four layout for desert. And, uh... So, that, that white mushroom that Stewie got from 1-3, that means... That's, that's the empty chest. It's nothing. So, super tanks for Teeks. But, uh, we do have... That strat where he just hugs the right wall and just... is not in any danger of anything. I mean, he's played vanilla, he knows the score. He has just enough, uh, screen real estate to see what's coming up before it become- begins to threaten him. Like that rocky wrench. Okay, that was the answer. And we have more auto-scrolling. <laughs> Yikes, so much auto scrolling. We keep finding them. And yet, not one Atlantis. Or 5 9 for that matter. But in any case, Stewie has taken the lead with his fourth cleared world. Now some choices need to be made. Where to go from here? And that's a cloud from Peach. Alright, Iceland! Hmm... Those two pies probably lead to one another. I mean, I would hope that would be the case, because, um... Or do I? Yep. 
Oh, we got hoppies. Thank you for that, Teeks. There we go. And alright, do we put the boat to sleep? Well, he's not even gonna check the pipes. Or did he check them and I just missed it? one up here and uh he got the speed there we go hammer oh that is that is quite that is quite a good prize very good prize really good prize monumentally good okay it's fine it's a good prize Okay, now he's going back to check the pipes. I guess he wanted to maximize uh, the... Um... He, I, I guess he wanted to maximize the... Uh, the music box for it, but I think... Yeah, I think he can just turn it back on since it stays in his inventory, but yeah. Yeah, we are good to go. We'll fight this one bro and then... See what it drops, which is nothing. And, uh, yep, put, turn the box back on. There we go. All right. Teeks has, from what I recall, still has some levels to clear before he can get the airship here in water. Oh, just missed his mark. Oh, let's fight some bros. More nothing. And more auto scroll. I think Stu is gonna cloud this one. Oh, is it gonna double cloud? Or just a single cloud? That works too. Okay, uh, there's a boss pass here, so we need to be careful. Actually, swapping out the. Oh, Teeks hammers the lock, and uh, he's already at the end of water. Alright, okay. Stewie is safe from uh, potential having to do that stage he clouded. And that should be it for ice. Yeah. Now, uh, because Clifford is disabled, he can't do the first class. He has to go in the cargo bay. And unfortunately, uh, Lemmy has home court advantage because, um, while it is still solid gra still flat arena, um, you have to jump to aim those fireballs. It's not like the World 3 airship. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Stewie did some extra stages, rather, 
because he didn't check those pipes when he, uh, before when he actually did. So Teague's got to skip two stages doing what he did. Alright, uh, Stewie's noping out of desert for now. Let's see what Grassland's like. Alright, we, we saw it before. It is a forced draw. He has to do play that fort to make that bridge. There is no way around it. Almost had him there. Uh, five seven is one of those stages that has the looping uh, stars. That in fact that that one brick jutting out has one of those stars. can get the to continue the chain going. And Teeks is like that. Teeks is already done with uh, World Six. The uh, hammer is still won't be able to harm the Koopalings. Not that he really needs to. I don't. I don't know how many hits uh, Lemmy has. Because I don't know if he got the. I don't know if we got the fire kill or not. One. Two. Oh, it's just two hits. Never mind. He's fine. Stewie realizing, no, Hammer cannot hammer that rock anymore. Ah! But the, but he got back, he got back, everything's fine. Everything's cool. And that's a hammer from Peach again. Only one more world to go. No, it's been a while since, uh... Because this was Stewie's first uh, world clear. And this is going to be Teeks' last world clear. I forget what uh, World Simmons layout was like. I don't know if there was a lock that was in front of the way, or if a bridge needed to be built. Okay, okay, wow. Bit of a close shave, getting the min meaning hits with the hammer there, because he was about to wake up, that boom boom. And we have 7-5 again, that's right, 7-5's here. And, uh, I don't... I think he has a cloud. I think he's gonna put on a, a leaf. Or a P Wing. Whichever is more palatable. Or is it gonna go the other way? 
Oh, he's chancing this lock. Okay, that takes him there. What about this other pipe? Oh, pranked! But at least he knows that he doesn't need that hammer. But yeah, he is, he is gonna have to play something five after all. And Stewie putting on a P-Wing for 3-5, which is a very good place to have P-Wing on because, uh... Drastically cuts the time spent in there. Oh, nice, uh, tail swing and duck slide. the sun here. Will it disappear? No, it's the... Oh, okay, now it's gone. <sighs> I'm always on edge about that half sun in 5-3. Alright. So Teats is in the final airship before Bowser. Before Bowser land. Darkland, Castle Koopa, World 8, whatever you want to call it. And Ludwig is being very uncooperative with Teeks right now. And I saw Stewie hammer the rock. And he is going to get this item... Which is, it's just, this is a hammer, I think, right? Yeah! Yeah, well, he's gonna be done with World 2 as well. But, uh, Teeks is about to enter World 8. So, lucky, good on Stewie for getting the item here. When I mean, we all knew it was a hammer, but we were hoping that Stewie would figure it out too. Which he did. And that's a 3F2 for Teeks. And here we go. Because Teeks had a frog suit in his inventory, he's able to slap it on for free while in the midst of swimming. This is another feature that Open Mode does. However, you can only do it once per stage. And he has to be in the midst of swimming while putting it on. I do believe it's free ish. I have to look at the document again to s confirm. I believe uh, it has in full instructions. The open world mode document. Compiled uh, by our one million Bacopra. And well, there's a, there's a tank icon locked by a lock. There's another lock right there and a third lock there. And, uh... Okay. I mean, there is no way around this fort. He has to play it, because it is a it is a boat icon, which you... There's no way around. You can't put it to sleep. You... There's no... You get the idea. But 
but now can stu but can Stewie find it now? Because because the clock's ticking. He found it. But unfortunately, it might be too late unless Teeks has a fall. He does it now. Yep. Get up there, go in the door. Get your peace breed strats on. And finally, hammers to the face. It's over. Teeks will take it here as well. Another minimum, another six points minimum. Depending on where Johnny places when he ne when he eventually plays these seeds. That is a 34 12, 21. And yes, it is, it is important for Stewie to stay the course and continue playing because, uh, because of, yeah. If Stewie were to forfeit now, that would be a zero points for him, considering there's still another Razor to account for. But as long, but as long as he, finish, if he finishes, he will he will get points regardless of what happens. Stewie's also going to get the Peace Beat strats for this room. Oh, but no, he... Uh, oh, never mind, he got back. He got back. All right. Uh, that is going to be it for Stewie's end. And he's going to clock in at... 36.06. And, uh, we'll be getting him in soon. He said he's going to restart his computer and see, to find out what the deal with the static is. But in the meantime, we have Teeks88 in the room. GG. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, yeah, it seems like both of these uh, seeds were kind of a mixed bag between, like, really Jet Worlds and then others were just one auto scroller after another and there's just nothing you could do about that. Like, um, like I know in game one there was a couple opportunities where a hammer would have made like world three or world seven completely free or like play no more than one level, but uh yeah, ended up running into some mishaps with the um with the navy, tried to do the boat swag clip and then realized that anti clipping was on, so I just got crushed by the far left border. Yep. So uh, ended up Same having with the Stewie. Four, yeah, I was reading in race time chat that he did the same thing. That was, uh... Yeah, we're both vanilla Wait. runners who, um, are... Both make a habit of that, doing that in our normal runs, so... Yeah, I guess old habits die hard. And I... And, uh, I was in the... I, uh, forgot to do my, uh... Usual reminder of what the flag set entails. I was gonna put clipping disabled in all caps and have stars surrounding it. And it's funny because, like, right before the actual uh, game one started, I was updating my race layout like to with the description of the flags, and even wrote in anti-clipping patches enabled, just so that my my chat can follow along. And yeah, I some I somehow still managed to forget because it's just not something that I'm used to doing on a typical rando seed. So yeah, just completely like went over my head in that moment. So. 
but other than that, um, I mean, they were still pretty fun seeds overall. Uh, yeah, and of course, I yeah. had the, the World 5 Curse follow-up in Game 2 by uh, trying to uh, take the intentional death where the um, where the tower exit yeah. is, and just yeah. forgetting about... Yeah, you actually have to play the level first, and yeah. break into the starting point again. So. Yeah, I was... I commented on it, yeah. On it, yeah, it's just... There was, there was always the chance that the tower was going to put you in the butt end of the other side of the upper map. It was just, just was not worth the risk. Yeah. Yeah, and I think if I allowed myself maybe about another five to ten seconds just to kind of think things over, I would have figured it out. But it was just one of those things where you just fall, just like, make a decision. And, you know, is, is Cloud World going to be, uh, you know, really long? Or is should I take the other pipe that's right there? So... Yeah. What can you do? But yeah. um yeah, still still really fun seeds overall, so I'm happy. Got to uh show off a little bit of hammer swag with seven F two and five seven, so I'm happy. Yeah. How about you, Stewie? I I knew in game one, as soon as you dot done, I knew exactly how I lost. Because I skipped the tank on the first screen thinking it was the fake one. And you I both was dead wrong. It. You both skipped it. Teeks had the double back for it. Yeah, I ended up finding the uh, the elbow tank first and then backfiring, so at, at least I knew exactly what to do afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, Stewie found the, found the Air Force icon, which did nothing for him. Yep. What was that, in the dark room? It was in the elbow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I forgot that anti-clipping was on, so I found 7-1 and tried to clip that, and I'm like, oh, wait, this doesn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tried to clip 7-7 seven, seven pipe, and then, like, before I even took the first attempt, I just, oh, yeah, I need to go in the pipe. Well, rest is you two, because um, there's no more... Clip clipping disabled for the rest of these two weeks. Oh, that's a relief. Well, it's, uh, but, but the, well, the, the only drawback is that I have to go back to the randomized fireballs in the statue room, so back to clipping BC, I, I suppose. As for if they'll, if they'll be in the, the finals, that's for Danny to decide, because I don't know what he's going to do with them. <laughs> I, I don't know, it was... It was kind of hard for me to even enjoy these seeds, just because, like, my headphones were picking up so much static during the races, and it was really, really distracting, and I couldn't figure out what was causing it. The stream was catching the static. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what was going on, because, like, I checked all the wires in between races, and everything was hooked up fine, so, I don't know. Oh. Uh, what else is there? So this is the uh, again, unless Danny decides to put in the final. This is the end of the normal auto scrolls. Uh, how do you feel about um not having to uh, play them anymore? Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that um, auto scrolling is going to be turned back off for the um for the matches going forward because I, I didn't really feel like they really added too much to the seed, aside from the fact that they're more punishing if you die towards the end. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean at least that was, Especially in the Navy, when we both tried to do boat swag and it backfired. Yeah, I mean, I kind of deserved that because I wasn't thinking about the whole anti-clipping thing, and it's not really a place you would normally die on, so... Right. I mean, well, I did the same thing. Like I, I, like, I died, and I was just like, wait, what? It was I especially, mean, uh... It was especially... Especially uh, poignant in uh, in uh, these two games because um, th there were many moments where both of you were in auto scroll stage with nothing going on until waiting for the stage to end. The like, like no less than four times where you both of you were in an auto scroll stage, and the fact that we kept running into. Auto scroll after auto scroll after auto scroll. Strangely enough, no five nine or Atlantis. I was gonna say I never saw them. Yeah, me neither. 
So just about everything else, though, barring maybe 6-2 and 6-7. I, I don't think I saw either of those. Oh, and um, can I just take a moment to shake my fist at Game 2 World 7 layout? Please. Cause, what, was uh, wrong, what was wrong yeah. with that layout? I thought it was just perfectly fine, Kappa. He hammered the lock in the bottom left island, and the two pipes there were both the mushroom house dead end and the room with a view. So, yeah. I, was I don't think I found that island, so... Uh -huh. I didn't have the misfortune of running into that. Yeah, oh, wait, no, I, I, did, I, did world, I did World 7 first, so yeah, so I, I didn't find that... 7-2 Island. Oh, okay. I could have sworn a fort was there. Was there? Or am I thinking of, or am I thinking of game oh, wait, one? Wait, maybe? I think that was game one. Yeah, there, there, was a, there was a fort next to the lock and I played it and then it didn't break that lock. So I figured that maybe it was like... No, that was game two. Okay, I think game one, there was a fort on Promised Land and a fort on the bottom middle island. Yes. Yeah, that's because I... Right. I because I remember, yeah, so game finding, I remember finding the fort in game one, and then I was like, oh, maybe this will be the answer. It's like, nope, that's way too easy. Yeah. At least both of you found the pipe around the lock. Yeah. Well, my thought was the pipe at the very end was just going to go to room with a view. So I'm like, okay, I got to find the fort now. And then I find that I'm, pipe, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm actually curious, what was that fort you two skipped in in game one, World 7? I'm going to gonna oracle that real quick before we uh, sign off, but uh, yeah, you're two are free to continue discussing kind of, what else I happened. Of, I kind of want to know what that was. Actually, I'm, I'm curious what... Because I think I ran into a hand stage in one of the games. And it was nothing. So it now was it does... game, it, might have been, it might have been game two where that was. But I because... forgot what, what, the fir what stage you... What world you found oh, that in. Oh, I have in. no idea. Is I, it uh, World no. 3, the beginning? It might have been. It was hand three, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, it was the 3-1 panel. And it gave me nothing as well. All right, I'll oracle that too. Because uh, does the game limit you to how many hammers or clouds oh. you can get total, or is it just how many you can have in your inventory at one time? Yeah, I think it's well, just with, the max of your inventory slots is. Yeah, but if you if you pick up if you find a peach layer that can get you over the max. Right, that overrides it. Yeah. All right. All right, load up Seed 1, go to World 7. The fort you two skipped was 4F1. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Can't say I'm particularly sad about skipping 4F1. <laughs> um, oh, that's cute. With my Oracle powers, I can't put on a power-off because I don't have money. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what world would did you have that um had the? I think it was World Three of Game Two. Uh, it's not. It's neither seed. Uh, I guess I'll have to do us off screen off stream because uh. I don't know how much longer we can keep meandering. Yeah, no, yeah, no don't, don't, don't drag it out. <laughs> yeah. So, any final thoughts, two of you? Uh, um, just good luck to Johnny Link when he plays these seeds, and hope he feels well soon. Yeah, I'll, I echo those sentiments. Hope you feel better, Johnny, and uh, best of luck on the seeds when you have the opportunity. Yeah, he offered to double forfeit, but I wasn't having it. Yeah, I think, I think. Both Teeks and I were like, yeah, no. Yeah, so so... We don't... I would think neither of us would want to win that way. No, not at all. I want him to play and I want him to get his points. 
a grade. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if we can get um, we'll get him hooked up with the seeds once he's feeling better. And uh, we'll, we'll report like, to I, you I've what had, his I've had those were. days like, where, like with Johnny, like where it's like you feel like hell when you wake up, and then it's like later that night you feel like nothing ever happened. Depend. Lisa was just saying that. <laughs> Maybe sometime that's uh, what need. Oh, I found hand three. It was it's in the three eight spot of C two. So I'll see what it is here. It was a frog suit. Well then. Alrighty then. That solves that mystery. All right, so uh, on the schedule right now, uh, this is technically the end of week two. Uh, it'll really be over once uh, Johnny does does the thing. Once he's feeling better, of course. Um, on the schedule right now, we have um, two days from now, on July 22nd at 6 p.m. is um, King Slayer Division Luigi Group for week three. Consisting of Midi Guy DP, Human Mustard, and Teak City 8. And week three is Scavenger Hunt time. Oh, that'll be. How are cool. everyone's thoughts on that? Yeah, I managed to play a couple of those Scavenger Hunt seeds, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's going to have to. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to play a couple more practice seeds before Monday, so. I'll probably do that once uh, once we end stream. Yeah, so you notice the um the number at below the three on the title screen, the one that says seventy. Right. Um according to the open world doc, that number means um how many worlds you need to clear and how many items you need to have to get access to the dark world, does, uh world does eight, it have whatever. To be certain items or can it just be whatever items? I from what I understand, it's uh, whatever items, but uh, mo someone more experienced in the open world mode would have to clarify. But anyway, the left number means the number of worlds you need to clear. The number on the right means the number of items you need to have. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I suppose more on that when we get there. And that's going to be it for me, personally. Um, thank you, runners, for running. Please give them a follow. And uh, thanks, Diesel, on the, and for helping with the restream and uh, getting things set up for me. Um, and also tracking when I forget to. Um... Thanks, Speed Gaming, for allowing us to have, to have this. Thank you, viewers, for watching, and uh, we'll um, we'll get back to you on uh, on Johnny. And uh, so, yeah, no final scores today, but we'll get them eventually. Anyway, that's all for me. I'm Dust Minion, and thank you all for watching. Goodbye for now. See you. Have a good weekend, everybody.